Molds. Objectives. Define mole. Calculate the number of particles present in a given number of moles. Calculate the number of moles present in a given number of particles. And finally, determine the moles of elements present in a chemical formula. Mole. The mole is abbreviated MOL. It is the SI unit used to measure the amount of a substance. The mole is defined as a number of carbon atoms in exactly 12 grams of pure carbon. 12. A mole is also defined as 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd representative particles. Representative particles can be atoms, molecules, ions, electrons, or formula units. The number 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd is also referred to as Avogadro's number. It's named after the famous Italian physicist Amadio Avogadro. Mole particle conversion. Element. One mole of any element contains Avogadro's number. 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd number of atoms. For example, a mole of carbon contains 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd carbon atoms. A mole of sulfur contains 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd sulfur atoms. Similarly, compounds are the same way. One mole of compound contains 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of the particular type of particles that make up that compound. For example, one mole of carbon dioxide contains 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of CO2. Or a mole of NaCl contains 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd formula units of NaCl. A mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd particles whether it's element, compound, ions, electrons, any particles. Converting moles to particles. Avogadro's number can be used as a conversion factor to convert between moles of a substance and the particle it contains. We can use the equality 1 mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd to create two conversion factors. We can use these two conversion factors to convert between moles and particles. For example, if you're asked to convert four moles of aluminum to atoms of aluminum. Here we have to convert four moles into atoms. Therefore, we need to select an, a conversion factor that will cancel out moles but have remaining particles. Here we can use the first conversion factor where it's 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd over 1 mole. Calculating that, we have 2.41 times 10 to the 24 atoms of aluminum. That is the amount of atoms present in 4 more moles of aluminum. Converting from particles to moles. Similarly, how we use to convert moles to particles, we can use the equality 1 mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd to create two conversion factors. In the last example, we use the first conversion factor. In this example, we are asked to convert 3.01 times 10 to 20, 24 molecules of SO2 to moles. Here we have to go from molecules or particles to moles. So selecting the second conversion factor, we have 1 mole over 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, which works out to be 5 moles of SO2 molecules. So in 3.01 times 10 to the 24 molecules of SO2, there are 5 moles of molecules present. Practice. Calculate the number of calcium atoms in 1.25 mole of calcium. Here we have to go from moles to particles. So we're converting 1.25 moles to particles. 
So we need to pick a conversion factor. We want the moles to cancel, so we're going to use the first conversion factor. Here we have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of calcium over one mole of calcium. The moles of calcium cancel. Multiplying, we have 7.53 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of calcium present in 1.25 moles of calcium. Question 2. Calculate how many moles of CH4 molecules are present in 8.25 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Now we're going from particles to moles. So we put what we need to get converted and we have to select a conversion factor. So we want to go from particles to moles. So in this example, we're going to select the second conversion factor. Here we have one mole of CH4 over 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of CH4. And when we cancel out our molecules of CH4, we take it over, we divide it, and now our final answer is 1.37 mole of CH4 molecules. That is the mo moles of CH4 molecules present in 8.25 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Moles of elements in a chemical formula. For example, NH3. The subscript in a formula indicate the number of atoms of each type of element present in a compound. For example, in one molecule of NH3, there is one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms. Each subscript also represents the moles of each kind of atom in one mole of that compound. So, for one mole of NH3 molecules, or 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of NH3, there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd nitrogen atoms and three times that amount of hydrogen atoms. So we multiply that number, Avogadro's number, by three. Practice. Determine how many moles of each element is present in one mole of C4H10. Here the question is asking us for the total number of moles of atom present. So we have 4 moles of, ca of car carbon and we have 10 moles of hydrogen. Another practice. Determine how many moles of carbon are present in 1.5 mole of C6H12O6. One mole of C6H12O6 contains six moles of carbon atoms. So now we have two conversion factors. And here we need to go from moles to number of, of, of C6H12O6 to moles of carbon atom. So for every one mole, there are six moles of carbon atom. Therefore, for 1.5 moles, there are going to be nine moles of carbon. Concept check question one. Determine the total number of atoms contained in two moles of nickel. Here we have two moles multiplied by the conversion factor, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd over one mole. Multiplying 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd by two gives us 1.2 times 10 to the 24th. Choice number two. Question two. Determine the total number of molecules of SO2 in 0.1 mole sample of SO2. Here we have 0.1 moles. We multiply that by the conversion factor, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd over one mole and we get 6.0 times 10 to the 22nd power. Question 3. Determine the moles of Mg, magnesium, in 7.8 times 10 to the 21st atoms of Mg. So here we need to find how many moles are present in that amount of atoms. Using the second conversion factor, we have 7.8 multiplied by 10 to the 21st power of mg divided, we 
work that out and we divide that by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd to provide 0.013 moles of mg. Question 4. Determine the total number of atoms in one mole of CO2. So we're adding the total number of atoms in one mole of CO2. There's one mole of carbon and two moles of oxygen in CO2. Therefore, 3 multiplied by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd gives us 18 times 10 to the 23rd. That's the number of atoms in one mole of CO2. Determine the total number of moles of hydrogen gas contained in 9.03 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Here we have 9.03 times 10 to the 23rd um, molecules of hydrogen. So if we divide that by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, it gives us 1.5 moles. Question 6. Determine how many moles of hydrogen are present in 1 mole of C11H22O11. There are 22 moles of hydrogen present in 1 mole of C11H22O11. There are 22 atoms of hydrogen. So if there's 1 mole of C11H22O11, there should be also 22 moles of hydrogen there. Question 7. Determine the total number of moles of oxygen atoms in 1 mole of N2O3. There are three moles of oxygen atoms present in one mole of N2O3. There are three atoms of oxygen present in N2O3. Therefore, one mole of N2O3 will contain three moles of oxygen atoms.